Serious, Redditors who believe they have thrown their lives away where did it all go wrong for you? Mystery of Stuff Started working at a restaurant at 14 surrounded by drugs and alcohol, thought as was completely normal behavior for adults and chefs I looked up to until you was 37 and realized I have a huge alcohol problem and lost everything I own. I'm 17 months sober now. I got lazy with education from a very young age, and in the end my brain just lacked the ability to apply to anything that required real effort. Then I stopped caring, just got a decent enough job and that was it. This is life now. Edit, well this blew up overnight. Thank you so much for the awards. To answer some common questions, I'm 29 now and have worked a finance role for two and a half years. I got very lucky with an apprenticeship scheme and to have a job that is secure, but it only covered the really low-level stuff. I very nearly threw away the end of the course, had to resit assessments and just about passed. Not enough to go to the next level, which essentially means I can't move up in my job. It's basically the same level as an admin job, same wage at least. Trying to explain further would just turn into a life story, but I did let myself get lazy with education from a young age and anything requiring mental energy just leaves me draining myself trying to find motivation and feeling guilty about studying. Car crash. Age 14. Was in a coma for 7 or 8 days. Made a lot of brain damage decisions after. What were some of those decisions you made if you don't mind me asking? I was in a car accident when I was 15. Had what they called a closed head injury. I dropped out of school twice however I did end up graduating, like barely. Stared smoking weed, then cocaine, became an alcoholic, started smoking meth, fucked off good jobs, shoplifting, and the list could go on. I'm 41 now, and became a mom 3.5 years ago, and have completely turned my life around, as far as drugs and drinking, but I still suffer with depression and anxiety. I believe my brain injury had a lot to do with my crazy behavior, and still affects my mental health. So I'm a third-year medical student and going to medical school is my biggest regret. I should have chosen the career path I initially wanted, but I let people tell me where to go. Problem is I'm gonna be in too much debt to do anything else. My upstairs neighbor has an MD from Johns Hopkins. Never practiced a day in his life. Went to McKinsey after med school, now is in leadership at a healthcare-related nonprofit. Does pretty FING well, based on how much he paid for the apartment. I've known too many miserable doctors who hate their lives but are trapped. You have the chance to avoid the trap, take it. I've had a great life. There is one thing in my life though that has put a damper on it, and that was drinking alcohol. I wish I had never let it pass my lips. I never got a DUI, I should have, never in trouble with the law, but I wasted 30 years being inebriated most evenings. I wasn't crisp. I wasn't completely present, so there was a dimmer on my life that turned my general awareness down by at least 20 to 30 percent. It's my greatest regret. Edit, hey, there was someone trying to PM me, and I accidentally deleted your question, sorry. I only got to read the first sentence, and it seemed really important. PM me again if you see this. My mother often talks about her personal regret for not going to college. She also says if she could, she would go back, go to college, and get a career that involves weather, meteorologist is what I think she was going for. It makes me sad knowing she doesn't have the motive to do it now. Our family relationship hasn't always been the best, but I always want the best for her. She works so hard for my brother and I, and I hope one day I can show her the world. College. I was always one of the best students in high school. I got to college and I didn't know what study meant. I just thought you skimmed though the book, it had always worked for me before. I had to get kicked out, then do a real job. Eventually I went back and got my degree, but I left a lot on the table. I with I had prepared myself. When I started drinking. The drinking wasn't really that much of a problem, but it was enough for me to be too hungover to keep up my monthly appointments to get my ADHD meds. 
I fell behind on meds, became embarrassed to reschedule appointments, missed the deadline to renew my health insurance. Then I couldn't handle school anymore, publicly bombed a few presentations and stopped going. I only had one semester left, but it was a small school, and all of the professors know that I just completely gave up. Now I'm too scared to go back and have none of the degree and all of the debt. Probably when I decided to be a good Samaritan and let a girl I didn't really know move in with me because she claimed her mom was abusive. Her mom wasn't abusive she just wanted her deadbeat daughter to get her GED. I ended up spending a small fortune inadvertently enabling this girl's lazy behavior and developing a habit of trying to help everyone with a sob story I came across. My life went off the rails cause I kept trying to do the right thing, but wasn't taking care of myself. If I had just kept to myself and focused on getting into an apprenticeship I turned down so I could focus on these charity cases my life would be completely different. I had my own landscape company, I employed five others, but I had an addiction problem with cocaine. At the time I didn't know I had server mental health problems. I have BPD, DPD and bipolar disorder 1 with psychosis. I woke up one day and couldn't do it anymore. I left the company to the lads I worked with. Since then I haven't worked in years eve lost count how many times eve been hospitalist. I tried to end my life but ended up in a coma. I'm doing better now despite going through a divorce I'm on antipsychotic meds and I'm doing good now but could never go back to work. Mystery of stuff.